Hello guys and welcome back, today, we will do this bedside table, and teach you how to model those kind of furniture, this will be a step by step tutorial for beginners to follow along, so let us start with it. Let me delete the default lamp and camera, and leave only the cube, now for modeling furnitures. It's better to have a reference image open on the side, or in the scene if you have blueprints, for us, we will use the same render image, and for that, I will change the layer area to image preview type, and open the image there, this way we can work while having the reference image on the side, and you can choose any image if you need to do something different, the process is quite the same. We can now hit N to change the cube dimensions, and maybe switch the unit type to centimeters for this kind of small furnitures. I will also insert some numbers to make the cube similar to a bedside table shape. We can now hit Tab to enter edit mode, and hold the Z key to change the preview to wireframe. What I will do next is add a cut with Ctrl R and bevel it with Ctrl B to mark both the top and bottom gold frames. After that, we can switch to face selection, and with those middle faces highlighted, hit the right mouse button and choose extrude along normal. This way we give the top and bottom frames some extend over the middle part. I will also add a new cut on the top frame area, I did that to select the top vertices and scale them up a bit. Now to add the lines for both the drawers area and the round corner, we can hit Ctrl R to add a cut and bevel it to mark the starting of the bevel corner from both sides. After that, we can select the corner edges and bevel them with Ctrl B. And make sure to hit Ctrl A before the bevel to apply scale and get even spaces whether you're using tools or modifiers. Once we chamfer this corner, we can use the mouse wheel to add more segments and by result make it more smooth. What we will do now is deselect both the back faces and the frames, we did that to keep only the front middle corners selected and work on them. Hit the I key two times to inset those faces then we can extrude them along normal to inside. What we need to do now is assign those faces to a different material while they're still selected, so I pressed Ctrl plus to expand selection as shown, then in the material settings, we will leave the default material for the white color, and assign those highlighted faces to a new one.
Once we are done with the corners, we can add a new cut on the middle part to mark the drawers area, so as before, add a cut with Ctrl R and bevel it. We also added two extra cuts to mark the horizontal lines, after that, we can select those front edges and bevel them a bit, then we will extrude them to inside. To make the handles, I will add a plane on the drawers area, and scale it down to fit, then we can bevel the bottom vertices to smooth it a bit. The top edge is way too sharp, so let us smooth it, we will add a bevel modifier on the entire model once we are done, but an extra smoothness never harm. We did mess up the back faces with the last bevel, so what I will do is delete the faces and extrude them again to fix the area before we work on it. So now with edge selection, we can enable the snap tool on vertices, and extrude the edges around to close this area.
Once we are done closing the back area, we can select the middle faces and hit P to separate them from the main object, we did that so we work on them without affecting the front side, and we will join them together once we are done. I will start by beveling those two edges, then we can extrude them to outside a bit and assign them to the gold material. I will also add some edges vertically, then we can bevel them a bit and extrude them to inside, same thing we did with the front area. To model the legs, we can add a cylinder and just scale it around. We can now switch to material preview to start adding materials, and we only have two main ones, so that should be easy, for the white material, I will give it an off white color, and maybe decrease the roughness value to make it reflective. For the gold material, I will use the blender kit add on to search for one, and just drop it on the area. We can now add a bevel modifier to the main object. Uncheck the clamp overlap option, then decrease the amount value until it seems fit, and smooth the bevel with the segments number.
for the legs, we can join them together with Ctrl J, then in edit mode, hit A to select all faces, and with the knife tool, mark a cut on them, we will add the gold material to the bottom parts, and maybe give the top ones a black reflective material. And that's it, I did make a simple studio lighting to render this model, so if you want to learn more about that kind of lighting, watch this tutorial on it, the link in the description, and as always, stay sharp guys, goodbye.